Alright everybody, welcome back guys to a brand new PDCGO video and we're going to be looking at a new archetype today using Alola Ninetales with Decidueye GX and I know there's no plume in this, I know, a Decidueye deck without Vile Plume? Yo, pinch me, I must be dreaming. But yes, this is a deck right now that's getting a lot of hype and I really did want to showcase. I asked on my uh, Trevin and Yamega video if you guys wanted to see a video on this and yeah, you guys seem to want it. So I'm going to deliver and we're going to look at this deck and I put my own kind of little twist on the deck. Um, a lot of the lists I've seen, I like. I liked Omnipokes the best, I think, of all the lists I've kind of looked into. I think Omnipokes was, in my opinion, my favorite version of the deck. But I kind of expanded on his list a little bit and kind of improved. Not improved, because I, I mean, he's still a really good player. Probably a better player than me. <laughs> but I kind of changed it up to how I feel like I would play this deck. Um, it's, this is really a deck that you can kind of play with and you have your own motives with the deck. You can be like, alright, look, Decidueye, you're fun. And I'm going to be using Feather Arrow, and I'm going to be using Ice Path, and stuff like that. And there's many different variations of this deck, I think. You can use Rainbow Energy instead of Grass Energy, because you can then use the attack Blizzard Edge. The problem with that, however, is you have to discard the energy. Even though you have Hollow Hunt and Special Charge, I still think that's a little risky to do. I think the Grass version is better, because Decidueye GX is still a very, very, very powerful attacker. Now, this deck does not play Vile Plume which is a bit of a issue, but again, that's not a big deal because this deck can kind of beat a lot of different matchups. Um, so we got a Ninetales. Now, Ninetales serves a lot of good purposes. One, it's really good against Volcanion. 210 HP makes Volcanion very hard to knock out Ninetales. Volcanion can struggle to knock out Ninetales in one hit because of the fact that Ninetales does have 210 HP. Um, I know like a choice ban and a few scheme ups will, but we do play Field Blower for a reason. So Ninetales is very good against Volcanion. It also acts as a very good wall Pokemon with Ice Path GX. It forces your opponent to play around it or be very careful with how they attack Ninetales. And you kind of just use Ice Blade to your po opponent's Pokemon. You can snipe stuff with Feather Arrow and Ice Blade, or you can, you know, use Ice Blade on the active. There's so many different options you have with the Ninetales. It's good against Volcanion, and it's also a really good kind of walling Pokemon that can also be a great sniper against Garb, because basically you Decidueye a Trubbish, and then you Ice Blade the Trubbish and knock it out. That's one way. We do play Espeon EX in this deck, which is very, very powerful against decks that use mainly evolutions. Like, if your opponent is playing, like, Umbreon or Espeon GX or, like, another Decidueye matchup or a Mirror match with another Ninetales deck, you can quite simply just Feather Arrow stack damage on those Pokemon and then just come in with Espeon and take, like, three prizes and just wipe your opponent's evolutions off the board. And that is why we do play the Espeon in here. Espeon is one of the best cards in this deck, in my opinion. It's just a really good card to play with Decidueye. Um, now, we do play Tapu Lele. Unfortunately, I don't have any more than one of these at the moment. Um, and I know a lot of lists do play two Tapu Leles in them, but again, I only have one at the moment, so unfortunately, I can't play any more than just a single Tapu Lele. But again, you can always go two. Most lists I've seen have went um, one Shaman, two Leles, which I think is the better route, but again, I just can't get two Tapu Leles at the moment, so I'm only going to be playing one. And then we got our 4-4 four, four Decidueye line. Um, there are different ways you can use this to put Vileplume in, like I guess you could take out the VS Seekers, take out the Special Charge, um, take out maybe the Choice Bands. And you could probably throw in the Vile Plume line. The only problem is that it gets clunky. And this deck performs better when you can actually use your items, in my opinion, as opposed to just item locking your opponent. I mean, maybe if you wanted to, you could go like a 1 1 Plume line. Um, but again, that's a little kind of clunky. And I don't think you really need it. I think the 4 4 Decidueye is the best way to play it. And yeah, Decidueye is a very good attacker. You already know why, because it's got 240 HP, which makes it very, very hard to knock out. And it also has an amazing ability with Feather Arrow, which once you're in turn before you attack, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And again, that's just a good way of sniping your opponent, especially with Ice Blade. And you can stack these per turn. It's got Razor Leaf, which does 90, but that's, you know, not a whole lot of damage. But with Choice Band and Feather Arrows, that damage can really stack up. And then it has Hollow Hunt GX, which is very good. Even though we're mostly going to be probably using Ice Path more than not, we still have Hollow Hunt to use too, because sometimes your opponent will play around the Ice Path. It's not that hard to do. So, yeah, Hollow Hunt is still an option too. So, yeah, this is the Decidueye Pokemon in the deck. I think this Pokemon lineup is good. Um, another thing I guess we can mention too is Alolan Vulpix. Alolan Vulpix is really good in this deck because you can use Beacon, search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them in your hand. This is really good. Um, on turn one, 
you can use this since it needs no energy. You can just grab two Pokemon your choice, which is good when you can have a Force Giant Plants Decidueye play for the next turn. So Alolan Vulpix makes this deck very, very, very good. Like, this deck is good already, but Alolan Vulpix really adds to that strength because no energy grabbing two Pokemon is extremely powerful and deadly. And those are all of our Pokemon. Other attackers that I guess you could run would probably be, I don't know, like Lugia or, I don't know, Meowth. Because Meowth also can snipe too. Um, but I think these Pokemon are just perfectly fine in my opinion. I think it handles the meta well. Um, this deck does have a bit of a tough time beating Sylveon. Since you play a little bit of a lower energy count, you only play 7 energy or 9 or, yeah, 9 energy if you want to count the special charge getting you back your DCEs. So again, Sylveon can be a bit of a pain. I mean, it's a pain to play against in general, but this deck, I think, really can struggle against Sylveon sometimes. Um, you do have the Espeon, however, which is a good tech card, but it sometimes can be hard to control the energy in your hand when your opponent can play Team Skullgrunt. So I still think Sylveon can be a bit of a tough matchup, even with the Espeon. Again, Skullgrunt can control the energy, and they can control the energy from your hand and your energy in play. It's a little brutal. Um, but I still think um, Sylveon can be beat as long as you play it properly and you can Miraculous Shine to win the game. So yeah, I don't think the matchup is awful, but it still can be a bit of a, a rough matchup. So now we go into the trainers and supporters. The first one is Field Blower. We got two of these. Again, Garbodor is a thing, which shuts down Feather Arrow. And also, it gets rid of other tool cards that can get in our way, um, which is really, really nice. Uh, three Level Balls. Level Ball is great for uh, Dartrix and Rowlet, and also our Alolan Vulpixes. So we're going to play three since Alolan Vulpix in the deck, too. Um, I've opted for the one Rescue Stretcher, one Revitalizer. It's what Omni Poke at. And I think this is a good amount, because with Rescue Stretcher, you can get back your Nine Tails, and you can get back... Maybe your Espeon, because sometimes Espeon is really what can make or break a matchup. And it's really important to get those back. Revitalizer, obviously, for the Decidueye, which is why that's there. Um, one special charge, just to get back our DCEs. I know we have Hollow Hunt, but again, Ice Path is still probably going to be the GX attack we may use the most. Um, we went with two Trainer's Mail for our deck to grab out our items. I want to play more, but again, there's not really much room. Four Ultra Balls for the consistency to grab out your Pokemon. Uh, four Via Seekers since we can get our supporters back. Or oh, three, sorry. We only play three Via Seekers. I'm so used to saying four Via Seekers because every deck plays four, basically. That is an item lock. Um, yeah, but we do have three Via Seekers in our deck for the supporter count. Um, four Force Giant Plants so that we can get our Decidueyes going really quickly. Two Lysanders. Lysander can be really good when you can trap something in the active with a bigger tree cost and then just Ice Blade, Feather Arrow, Snipe the Bench. Um, three ends for your draw support, three Sycamores for your draw support, two Choice Band. The, the extra damage is really important, especially in the Volcanian matchups, because with a Choice Band, you can Ice Blade for 80 damage, and then Feather Arrow or Volcanian and knock it out. So that's why we do play Choice Band. It helps with the math a little bit more. Um, and it can also make our Decidueye do more damage too, which is good. Um, since we don't play Vileplume, we can play those two Flobe Stones for the free retreat. Four DCEs, since we can do the Ice Blade, we can do Feather Arrow, we can do... Energy Drive, it's just a really good card in this deck. And we got three basic Grass Energies for Decidueye. I think three Grass is fine. Um, so yeah, this is the Decidueye Alolan Ninetales list that I have come up with. to constructed it, and um, yeah, let's go hop into some games with the deck and see why this deck is getting some hype right now, and see if the deck is really going to be good for the format or not. Let's find out. Alright, let's go find another game with our deck here. Sorry about that cup, I'm unlocked in my room, and I had to quickly end the recording. But we will find a game, and it is against the Water deck! In before it's quad lap press, and he plays all these ways to get rid of my energy, and I can't attack him. But we will go for the coin flip here and tote. Thanks, tote now. I love you. I love you, tote. Thanks for losing that coin flip, Kappa. Um, it, it's fine though. Yeah, we'll see what kind of water deck this is. Um, okay. I think yeah, we can start with full picks. That's fine. Put the rallet down. Is it gonna be nine tails? It could be Gyarados. I mean, this dude even has a Gyarados coin. Could also just be water box. Yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be a water box deck. It could also be a Lola Nine Tails. I think a Lola Nine Tails though is a really good matchup thanks to the Espeon. So I think we'll be okay against Lola Nine Tails, but we'll see. And we can draw an extra card because our hand is dead. Aha, there we go. So it is Gyarados. So he actually doesn't have a weakness to grasp, but I think it's fine. Gyarados does need a ton of energy to one shot my Decidueye. And then we can kind of just come in and smack him with a Tapu Lele. So I think Gyarados is a good matchup in my opinion. Even though we can't hit him for weakness like most water types, like Lapras and Manaphy and Palkia, it's still a good, still a good game. Still a good matchup, I think. Hmm. We maybe okay. The ideal top deck would be a Force of Giant Plants, so we can go Dartrix here. We'll attach a Grass to the to the Rowlet, and then we'll go Beacon for a Decidueye and a another Rowlet. 
sure? I don't know. I guess that's a play. I think it seems decent. Alright, come on. Forced Sigmar? I guess I'll take it, sure. Can he knock me out next turn? I don't think he can. So I think we're safe to just do Beacon here. And I think I'm just going to get myself the... Uh, get another Vulpix. And I think I'll get a... Get another Rowlet. We can't get Decidueye down. So we're not going to be able to get the Decidueye. I think we just grab a Rowlet and a Vulpix. And yeah, that's, that's fine. These two Pokemon are good enough. Sure, and then we'll just start Ice Blading him. I'm probably going to snipe his Manaphy. And take an easy knock it on that. And then we'll just save the Gyarados for the Tapu Lele. I think that'll be the game plan this matchup is. Just snipe his bench with the Ice Blade and go there. Wow. All those heads. That's insane. Now, question is, is can he one-shot my Ninetales? If he can, that'll suck because then we won't be able to do the Ice Path play. I think he can. He's doing 200. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, we gotta go Sika. He didn't play any supporters last turn, so I think the Sika play is safe. So, that's fine. Alright, let's see. Can we get a Force? Can we get a Decidueye down? That'd be ideal. Hey, look at that. Alright, there we go. It's actually a really good hand if we can get more Decidueyes in play. Let's see. Can this male hit an Ultra Ball? Let's see. No. Uh, float. I think we'll take the Float Stone. I could have taken Force in case he rough sees. I guess. Maybe I should have done that. I don't know. I guess we'll go level... Uh, get another Rowlet and play. We can start building up more Decidueyes. Save that last bench space for the Tapu Lele, I guess. And I guess we just Feather Arrow... Feather of the Manaphy, I guess. Sure. And then... Just Ice Blade in. And then we'll knock it out next turn, and then... I mean, he just literally needs a Gyarados Spear Link and an Energy and a Gyarados to take me out. And then we can't do the Ice Path play. But you know what? It's fine. We'll spread out that damage a little bit. And then we just either choose to take out Manaphy with a nice path and then Feather Arrow something else. Which is, you know, why I did that. So, and he is attaching that Manaphy. Now, oh, there's Rough Seas. Ugh. Now, we can still take it out with the, the Ice Path Feather Arrow play, but that's going to set us back a little bit. But does he have a supporter? No, just a Splash Burn. He actually did it too, which is interesting. And that just means we could do the uh, Clear Path. And he had to damage his bench too, which is awesome. I didn't mean to click that! No! Oh my god, I'm making misplays on misplays. I didn't mean to click that, dude. Ah, whatever. I think we just gotta do the clear path play anyways. <sighs> that was such a dumb misplay. Especially if we actually had a knockout. Okay, it doesn't look like we would. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Bit of a misplay on my end, but what can you do? What can you do? But yeah, let's just get another Decidueye down this turn. And yeah, that seems all good and fine for now. We had a knockout. No, we did we? No, okay, we were 10 short anyway, so yeah, it's fine. Still kind of a dumb play. Whatever, though. I think we just sniped this Manaphy. Uh, does it matter? Yeah, I guess. We can just keep damaging the Manaphy, I guess, sure. Yeah, clear path. Or ice path, sorry. Whatever, 100 damage. It's gonna go down to 70 if he drops another Rough Seas. If only I didn't do that. I don't know. I, I saw the Rough Seas, and I'm like, let's play it. Now I regret it just a little bit, but, you know, it's fine. We're still putting some decent pressure on anyways. I mean, we're still in a really good spot regardless of that doing 30 less damage or not. So, who cares? Still kind of hitting myself over that. I, I gotta stop stressing over misplays. I know some of you guys comment that sometimes. They're like, yo, you always stress out over these misplays. I know I do. Palkia again? I mean, he's still not drawn at anything. And... He's gonna have to in order to really get out of this spot he's in. Um, but yeah, like, we can just retreat Ninetales, Decidueye, knock out those Palkias, and just a Splash Burn, 430 damage. That is fine. He's gotta damage his bench, which means a Feather Arrow will knock out his Manaphy. And look at that, we got a Dartrix. Oh my god, we are putting so much pressure on my opponent right now. It is insane how crazy this game is going. Uh, let's see what our prizes are. Grass Energy. I'm just going to retreat my Ninetales, keep that DCE on it then. Sure. Again, the Rainbow Energy Virgins deck does use Blizzard Edge, but I don't think you need it. I'm just going to knock him out with Decidueye here. Uh, we'll Feather Arrow the Palkia again. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the Tapu Lele. I don't want to play it quite yet. Just do Level Ball, get... I don't... Yeah, I got the other Rowlet to stand on the deck. I don't want to Lele quite yet. 
um, in case he enters me to two. Like, if I drop the Lele, grab a Sika, it's like, not. Nah, I don't really want to do that quite yet. So I think we just take him out here, take our two prizes, let's see, Ultra, Ultra, not too shabby. But you can see the Ninetales, like, that Ninetales just smoked that Mana Fee. So, when you're playing against these Water Box decks that use Mana Fee, Ninetales just hunts that thing down. This deck, it's all about sniping, all about doing crazy plays. There's another Gyarados, but again, literally all we need to do is knock out Palkia, and there you go, we got the win. Uh, I was like, maybe if he retreated into Gyarados, he'd survive, but then we just draw Lele, grab Lysander, which is another reason why I didn't drop the Lele quite yet, and it looks like that play is paying off, so yeah, we can just yeah knock him out with the Razor Leaf here, and bye-bye Palkia, and there you go, quick win against the Gyarados deck. Gyarados, I still think, is a really cool deck, and a really good deck to try out, but the Sijui Plume, or not the Sijui Plume, but the Sijui kind of just did its work. We got a chest, which I will open up, maybe we can get a couple, like, 10 coins off of it, and... Those 10 coins can get me a... I don't know, in the future we can get a Guardians of a Rising pack. And of course, my dog has to bark in the middle of a recording. Honestly, shut up. Seriously, dude, come on. Alright, but we will open up the pack here. We'll see what we can... Ooh, we have a locked breakthrough pack, too. We'll open up the chest first. Because if we pull a rare out of a chest, like it'd be less valuable than if we pull any X out of breakthrough. We got five coins. Out. Useless chest. Useless chest. Alright, we'll open up the breakthrough pack. A full or Mewtwo Y wouldn't be too bad, or maybe even a... Yeah, I guess full or Mewtwo Y is the only card I'm looking for, to be honest with you. There's nothing really else I need, so... So I got most of the stuff from Breakthrough anyways. So yeah, let's see, come on! Simi Sage, alright, great, another another pretty bad pack. It's fine though, because that does mean I'll have a better odds of pulling a GX from Guardians Rising, which I will take any day of the week over pulling a full or Mewtwo Y out of Breakthrough, so that's fine. But let's find another match here with our deck. Game's going good. And let's see, Psychic and Metal, probably going to be a Solgaleo Metagross deck, which is still a really good matchup, because Espeon. Espeon just changes everything with the Sidueye, and look at that, we win the coin flip. I don't know, like, maybe even two Espeons wouldn't be bad in this deck either. I know it's crazy to think of, but these Evolution decks get creamed by Espeon. And it looks like we have to start with our Espeon. That's fine, we'll find a float. We'll Lele. Lele for Sika, I guess? Sure. Oh, it's Mega Scizor. I don't know, it's probably still Sogaleo with just the Scizor. So he probably doesn't play Mega Scizor. So that's fine. Drop the Rowlet, and I think I might even just end him. I don't really know how I feel about discarding these cards, but I don't even care. We'll get rid of them. It's not a big deal. Field Blower might be useless in this matchup, other than Choice Band, but I still think we can afford to do this. We're going to lose one of our Decidueyes, but there's a reason why we got the Rescue Stretcher in the deck. So here we go. What will we find? Alright, good. We, we got the we got the uh, Decidueye down. I was worried for a sec that we, that we wouldn't hit the Decidueye. But it's all good. We can get the Dartrix. And we will put it down. Uh, we'll keep the Choice Band in our hand in case he Field Blowers. There's no real rush to put that in, on our Pokemon quite yet. We can save that for next turn. If we can find a Float and a DC and a Ninetales. So, you yeah, know, just pass. And there you go. That's that's our turn. Pretty decent turn. Um, I really want to keep the Espeon around. If he knocks out Espeon, I'll be a little sad. Especially if we discard Rescue Stretcher. I mean, we have Hollow Hunt, I guess, too. That's fine. My opponent will play Skyla. That's his turn. Uh, that's a very weak turn. <laughs> Unless he Skylas for a level ball and does some other stuff. But, yeah. He might, I guess, still Skyla for... No, nope, Nest Ball. So, yeah. This is probably Solgaleo with Scizor. It could also be Mega Scizor Garb. I'm thinking it's Solgaleo, though. Like, I'm almost positive it's going to be a Solgaleo deck. Scizor again? Okay, that doesn't really answer my question, though. If he plays a Spirit Link, then I know it's Scizor. All right, just a pass. Good turn. I'm going to Choice Ban the uh, Vulpix. All right, Sika, come on. We need to find DC, Ninetales, and a Float. I know we can do it. Um, okay. Kind of game short. I don't think we can hit it, so I think we just do this. Um, we can do Rescue Stretcher. Hold on to Rescue Stretcher, I guess. We'll wait for next turn to do that. Uh, do I need to put another Vulpix down? I don't think I do. Maybe I should have retreated and went Beacon. Wasn't thinking. Wasn't thinking with my head. I could have went Beacon, grabbed Rowl and Dartrix. Yeah. Do we need to do Rescue Stretcher? I mean, we can get the Ninetales in play. Uh, we'll hold on to this hand for a minute. And just keep putting the damage on the board. And pass. Yeah, that sucks. My opponent only played a Skyla, though. He probably definitely has a supporter, though, because if he didn't do the Skyla, why would he, you know, do it without grabbing a supporter? It is Mega Scizor. Well, that's just lovely. 
What do you know? He one shots my nine tails and my decidui. And he gets rid of my DC. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I think we gotta go rescue stretcher now then. Sure. Uh Lysander, yeah, no thanks. Now we gotta start feathering the scissor though, that's the thing. I mean and he mega evolves, so he still has a supporter in his hand, I guess. He just didn't do it last turn. And we'll drop Shay for two. I could have dropped the Vulpix. I need to get another Decidueye down, though. Okay. Rowlet's fine. No supporter, though, which is kind of a bummer. Miraculous Shine. Keep buying time until he gets the Spirit Link down, I guess. Or attach to the Decidueye. And, nah. I think we mean Miraculous Shine. Yeah, we'll keep doing this. Keep forcing him to uh, have to evolve into Scizor. Until he finds a Spirit Link and then shuts that down. So I think that's the better play. Because if I put all my Grass Energy on one Decidueye to avoid losing the DCE, I think I'll be at a disadvantage. I don't think we can get our DCEs back perfectly fine. So I'm really in no rush not to do that. So that's fine. We'll chill out. We do need to find a supporter soon. How many VS Seekers have we lost? One. Three Sickas. So we're out of Sycamores, but we can still get in. He could still land on us too. Which is kind of going to be nice. But we can just keep Miraculous Shining him. Keep de-evolving Scizor. Keep forcing him to end his turn to evolve until he can get a Spirit Link. I don't know how long that'll last. Because, again, he probably plays maybe more than one Spirit Link. Lysander on Shay. Ooh, that's fine, though. I mean, we won't be able to de-evolve him. Or maybe not. It looks like we can keep the de-evolving alive. Look at that. That's funny. Um, if he doesn't have Lysander, though, then I obviously won't be able to do that, but that's fine. We can just Miraculous Shine again, and, uh, bye-bye, Scizor. This, this is working out too funny. I'm just Miraculous Shine stalling him. The stall is real, folks. Who, whoever, who would have thought? And before this guy topped Experiment Link. And a Switch. And I'm screwed. But I think we can put enough damage on him to one-shot him with, uh, Razor Leaf. And he's only getting rid of one DCE, which isn't too bad. Hollow, or at least he's only drawn four, because he hasn't played a GX attack yet. So I guess he does play Sobaleo, then, if he plays Hollow. Because he wants to do Soul Burst as early as possible. If he plays Sogaleo, Espeon has to stay alive. So Espeon is crucial. But yeah, he just shuffled back a Scizor, which lets me keep just sniping away. Which is good. If I can top deck a DCE, I think we just Lysander up and just hit him. Harass again. Do we need it? I mean, we have a Decidueye in our hand, so it is still possible uh, to get the Decidueye into play. That's fine, sure. Yeah, let's go Miraculous Shine for nothing. Seems good. Um, we can still trap this thing too, I guess, which isn't bad. Um, but yeah, we kind of need drawn to something soon, because if not, this could go downhill very quickly. Uh, is this like Quad Scizor or something? No, there's a Cosmog. So he's finally grabbing the Cosmog. But again, all we need to do is get 60 damage on it, which is really easy. Then we can knock it out. I might even... Maybe if I just get a DC, I mean, no, we should just take out that Scizor Threat. The Scizor, Mega Scizor from Arbor Threat right now. I'm thinking maybe just Feather Arrow, snipe the Cosmog, shut down the Sobo Leo, which might be the best play we can do. Does he play any Leleys? I know he has Psychic, so the Lele is still in there, possibly. If he doesn't have the Tapu Lele, though, it's going to be good, because then he won't be able to do anything. But also, if he goes Cosmog into the uh, Sobo Leo, we'd have to get A damage. If he goes Rare Candy, we just need 6. Via Seeker, he's probably going to do Hala again four which is still not that many cards but yeah we need to draw into something very very soon because if not ain't gonna go well like if we had two decidueyes in play this scissor would go down really quickly oh he's going to skyla huh it's gonna go skyla candy i don't agree with that because we'll just put enough damage on cosmog to de-evolve it or he's gonna go skyla for escape rope okay oh i see okay Oh, he's gonna knock out nine tails. I think bring out nine tails. I think we lose our shaman. I don't want to do it, but there's nothing else I could really bring out. I could have brought a Rowlet, but I need that in case we got a Dartrix top deck. That kind of sucks. We're gonna lose our float too. Okay, just bring out Espeon again, I guess. Can we please draw into something though, game? Please, please don't don't do this to me today. Let let me draw into something. At least he's still only doing 50 damage. Yes, okay, thank god. Yeah, thank god. Uh, we're gonna lose our special charge, which isn't very nice, but we kinda gotta do it. We kinda gotta go for it. We have Hollow Hunt still, I guess. We're probably not gonna use Clear Path, I don't think. So, 
There we go, finally. We caught a bit of a break, folks. <laughs> finally. There you go. Let's get the ball a rolling. Uh, we knock him out with one feather arrow. Okay, good. And then I think I'm gonna feather arrow... Feather arrow the scissor. Actually, I didn't need to. I had the choice band on. Guys, the misplays are real right now. The misplays are real. I'm making some pretty dumb misplays today. I'm sorry about that, but... You know, it is what it is. We're still gonna take him out with a big old razor leaf. And get that threat off the board. If my opponent does Sogaleo me, we can still... Switch into Espeon, maybe, if we find energy. So, I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. The fact we took out the Scizor threat is good. The fact we lost Special Charge, not so good. But we can always go Hollow Hunt for it back, so... It's not gone forever. We still have so many options right now, and we knock out that Cosmod next turn. I'm, I kind of do feel stupid for forgetting I had the Choice Band on. I was so focused on getting the knockout, I just forgot I had the Choice Band on. But again, novice mistake. Alright, he's going to go into Cosmion, so that does save him. And he ends me to four. Okay, that's fine. That hand wasn't that good either way. Um, I guess the only thing I'm really looking for here is... Energy, so we can knock him out with Espeon. Oh, no. That's fine. We can go Ultra, and I guess we grab another Rowlet and just try and build up the Decidueyes. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, we're out of two Decidueyes. We'd have to Hollow Hunt then. He can steal Wing, but uh, he's only preventing 20 damage, uh, which doesn't matter because two Feather Arrows knocks him out, I think, right? Because we're doing 100 and we're doing 120. So we feather arrow him once. So we're doing 120, so we're only doing 100. So we gotta we gotta waste two feather arrows on this thing. That's fine. That is that's fine, sure. Yeah, not a big deal. Then we just razor leaf, take him out, hold on to this hand. I could have ultra balled. Maybe I should have done that. But yeah, I mean I should have ultra balled the nine tilt in the forest away. There's another dark tricks. Look at that. Maybe we can actually get the decidueye in play after all. Um, I could even just Lysander that Scizor, stall it, and then go Hollow Hunt. Oh, there's Sokaleo. He's gonna get the ball rolling, but is it too late? I think it is. Pewee. That's his draw support for the turn. He gets a medal. We will lose to Sidewine next turn. But, again, I think we can just do Hollow Hunt. I think I'm gonna go Hollow in here. He's got no cards in his hand, so we're not in any threat of being ended to. Out of a hollow hunt, so I think I'm just gonna go hollow hunt, and I think my hollow hunt is going to grab me the way just to knock this thing out with enough feather arrows, because we can definitely get another decidueye down next turn. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do the feather arrow play. Uh, I mean, we could razor leaf him, but I might not find the energy. I mean, we've only used one DC so far, but still, like, I might not get it right. So, I think we go hollow hunt here. Let him knock me out, and we can just keep the Feather Arrows alive. Or just Razor Leaf, I guess, too. Yeah, nah, actually, yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll go Razor Leaf. Get rid of Forest, we'll get rid of N. And I think we'll grab ourselves the Rowlet. Yeah, sure. How many Ultra Balls? Is that our last Ultra Ball? Let's see... It isn't. Hmm. I might hold on to that in case we can draw into a Shaman. Or we can Ultra Ball for Shaman. So, we'll play the Male. Try and get that out of the deck. There's Lysander. Ooh, and then we'll grab Float, though. Float's a little nicer. And the next turn, we can Ultra Ball for Shay. Yeah, sure. And we'll just Razor Leaf Sokaleo, and we can either knock it out with another Razor Leaf next turn, or de-evolve him with Espeon. I kind of want to win the game with Espeon. Actually, we're not going to win the game, so we'd have to knock him out with Razor Leaf. But again, we still have all our DCs left. And he top takes a Super Odd, which isn't going to save him at all. He can take me out. And then all we have to do is hit one of our other DCs, which we still have three in the deck, unless one is prized. I'm pretty sure one is prized, though. Maybe. If not, then we have the win in our hands. So that hopefully is the case. I mean, if not, we can do Hollow One, because he has no energy for that Sogaleo. So, here we go. Let's see what our top deck will entail us. Yeah, there we go. There's the win. There is the win. We don't even have to do the shaman. We just straight up top deck the DC and knock out the Sogaleo for 90 damage. Bye bye. And we'll take our prize. There you go. Got Rowlet. And, and yeah, so we did have a DC prize. I was right. And we got a pack of evolutions. I mean, I'll take it. I would have preferred coins so I can get a Guardian's Rising pack. But a pack is a pack. 
The only thing from evolutions I think I'm looking for is full art Brock's grit, and that's about it really. Anything else is kind of just not really that useful. We'll still open it up though, because you never know, maybe I won't pull something out of another Guardians Rising pack, and this pack will even that out. So maybe I won't pull anything here, and then I'll pull something out of my Guardians pack, so hopefully that happens. And unless not, then I hopefully I pull a full art Brox Grit. <laughs> got a full art. <laughs> Mega Venusaur. Uh, yes, that's fine. It's not bad with uh, Lorantis. But, eh, it's something, though. That's the thing, it's something. I would have preferred nothing over something, but hey, it is what it is. And I think we will do one more quick game with our deck here. And we'll see. And it looks like we are up against a Lorantis Evolutions deck. Yep, Lorantis Evolutions, which is fine enough, I think. And we win the coin flip, which is also good. So, yeah, Lorantis is really easy to beat with Espeon. Espeon is just so good against these Evolution decks. The Vulpix. The Vulpix start is real, folks. Hmm, he could still donk it, though. That's the thing. I might just have to start with a Decidueye. I think I will. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, sure. I mean, I know we're not beacon him, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. We'll put the Rowlet down, too. Uh, we get Forest. We'll draw a lot of cards with Shaman, which is awesome. And if not, we're probably going to have to Ultra Ball a few cards. I don't want to lose my Choice Bane, because he plays Lorantis, most likely. Um, so, we'll see. We'll put the Rowlet down. We'll probably have to lose Dark Tricks then. But let's see, what are we going to see play against? Oh, I don't even know. All right, we're going to Ultra Ball. We're going to have to get rid of these two guys, unfortunately. But we still have a Vitalizer in the deck, hopefully. The Vitalizer, don't be prized. All right, good. Good, good, good. Get another Rowlet. We are playing against a Galvantula deck, which is still pretty... Or it's Rainbow Road. Actually, I don't even know what he's playing, to be honest. I'm kind of confused. Uh, can we Dong this Joltik, though? That'd be pretty nice if we can get rid of this Joltik on our first turn. Hey, look at... Holy cow, this hand is really, really good. Whew. Ooh, you, you already know this deck is already popping. Look at this first turn. Look at this. And we still have to play Sika. It looks like his Joltik is not going to live the turn. And then the Klefki is going to go down too. Pretty nice. Uh, I still don't know what he's playing though. I guess maybe Vespaquin. Oh. No, I did not just draw into that. Wow. That. And before my other Decidueye's prize. But Jesus. This hand is just wow. It's gonna grab. I'm, we have the VSC guy. He's not gonna. He could delink with me, I guess. But we have three decidueyes in play. That's not a bad position at all to be in. Like, look at this. Boop. Goodbye, Joltik. We're about to knock this thing out on our first turn. Jeez, man. <laughs> now I'm wishing I was playing like a decidueye Latios donk deck, because this would have been a donk. Dang, bro. I feel bad for my opponent right now. Uh, he could Wonder Key out of that 20 damage, I guess, but, yeah, whatever. In case he doesn't, we'll just Ice Blade him, maybe next turn. My opponent's just well played. He's, like, he's he's wet in the bed right now. Um, is it? Okay, maybe it is uh, Vespaquin, then, because I just saw the Acro Bike. Yep, it is Vespaquin, because, yep, it is, looks like it is, unless it's not. But I'm pretty sure it is. He plays Galvantula, too. Galvantula and Vespaquin is weird. I think Vespaquin did gain a decent partner with Line Karak. I think Line Karak can work decent at Vespaquin. Um, maybe I'll try that deck out in the future. I think Lineguard Vespaquin could be a fun deck to try out. Is, ooh, is he gonna hit me with Tapaleo this turn? He could. No, it has to be on your bench. Okay, never mind. So we actually can't do it to the active. If he parallels me, I get rid of my Shaman, and that's just gonna help me more because Shaman, I don't want to see him play. So that's fine. Plus, we have more force to get out of that. So thanks for getting rid of that Shaman. I didn't want on my bench, Caparos. Sika. It is Vespaquin with Galvantula. Interesting. That play was so dirty, though. We basically control any combis he has. Not to mention, he just got rid of my forest, meaning that he can't go straight into a thing. We basically just knock out a Vespaquin as soon as he puts one into play, which is hilarious. So, I mean, we just take out a combi instantly. He can't even get a Vespaquin in play, unless he gets two combis down. But even then, we can still snipe it with Ice Blade. I think this is a really good matchup either way. Field Blower, wow. Look at that. Look at that. I am the captain now. Alright. Um, he just straight concedes. He's like, nah. We didn't get any coins. Come on. But let's just see what he had. So I guess... He had Tauros. Tauros could have been a bit of a problem. It's not terrible. That's a decent decent list for Vespaquin, I guess. Sure. We'll do one more match with our deck, though. We got two trainer's mails, but I already got my four secret rares, so... The joke's on you. 
Uh, if we can get these 50 coins, we can probably buy a pack. I don't know. Maybe I'll, like, do another game this. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll make this a little bit of a longer video. Who knows? Who knows? And, alright. E this is probably Guardy Dragons? Yeah, Guardy Dragons, most likely. Which, that's another matchup I think is okay. I think Guardy Dragons is a decent matchup. Garatina does shut down our DC, but... I think it's a fine matchup. Okay, this hand would be really, really good if we can get into a uh, a fourth giant plant top deck. This hand would be beautiful. Okay, that doesn't spell Guardy Dragons to me. The Fairy Drop is a bit of a problem, though, because he'd heal the damage we do. Especially since he'd heal the Ice Blade damage. DC up to tomorrow. Hmm, this hand sucks. Uh, do 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 do. Get rid of DC, I guess. Sure. Yeah, we'll go Shay. This could whiff. We still have the beacon plate for next turn, I guess. Unless he can knock me out. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go here. Shaman, give me four time plant via seeker and all that good stuff. Hey, that's actually not too bad. We won't have a supporter for next turn, other than a Lysander, but we can still use Lysander, I guess. Um, maybe I should have DC'd the thing up. Whatever, it's fine. We can, he can still line us, I guess. He'll probably be, like, scared. to be like, oh, no, no, no. You don't do this to me, man. Don't do this. I'm back into a corner. Um. Oh, he plays Sylveon, doesn't he? But he has dragons, which doesn't make any sense. Unless it's, like, Sylveon Giratina. I don't think he knocked me out. If he plays Sylveon, I'm not going to worry too much about getting knocked out. Might lose my, my uh, floats to my DC, though. Now we'll keep him in the active. If he plays Sylveon, he can't Magical Ribbon because it does no damage. So I think we'll be safe. Uh, but we'll see if this is like the Sylveon Disruption deck. If it is, that could be bad. But again, Espeon is in this deck for a reason. So there is Sylveon. But is it Sylveon Disruption or is it Sylveon in just some weird list? Fairy Garden? Uh, I guess it is Sylveon weird. Uh, there's an Ultra. Okay. Hmm. Still didn't spell to me. I guess it's Sylveon Giratina, because Giratina locks my tools. Uh, is it? Shaman? Okay. If he ends me, if this dude actually ends me, or we can top deck a Sycamore, whoo, his hand is off the charts. If not, we'll just have the beacon for a Tapu Lele and probably another Decidueye. So our Volpix isn't going to survive another turn, unless he doesn't run DC. He's probably not Gardevoir now, because... Oh, Lysander, nice. That's not too terrible. Because now our Vulpix isn't going to get knocked out, most likely. Magical Ribbon. Magical Ribbon, man. The most overpowered attack, apart from Garbodor. Seriously, three cards? Like, whose mans did this? Who, Whose mans allowed Sylveon to grab three cards? That, that's got to be a joke, right? Probably going to grab a hammer, too, which makes me angry. We lost our other DC, too. I, what do we top deck that can help us? A grass that's not helping... I guess we just Lysander the Shay. And a Grass to Decidueye Pass. We keep putting damage on this thing. Pull out Espeon. De evolve to Sylveon. That's our play. But did he grab any hammers? Is this Sylveon hammers? It could be. It might be. Fairy drop. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna delay the inedible for my opponent. Let's see. Unless it's like a Sylveon heal deck. He could plea me too. Ooh, I gotta watch out for plea. He could plea my Decidueye off the board. That's kind of bad. <laughs> oh no. If we can retreat our Shaman... Actually, no. He can't plea the Shaman. If we retreat it, because he can just do something else, I guess. He could plea the Dartrix and the Decidueye. That would really suck. Yes! Yo, the top decks are real out here, folks. I'm gonna end him. I could Sika, but he can just grab three cards. There's no way we're not gonna end him. And before our end gives me a bunch of useless stuff. Alright, here we go. End. Do it for me. Okay. I think, yeah, we're gonna have to grab ourselves a uh, good old Nine Tails here. Do we snipe the Shaman or hit the active? I think we snipe the Shaman. And then Ice Blade it. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't the best play, but I don't know. Alright, we'll grab the nine tails. There he is. Okay, good. Nine tails. You're in the deck. 
I'm actually going to opt to not play the DCE. Actually, no, we got to play it, don't we? Maybe we could go Sky Return, bring our Nine Tails. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll go uh, Sky Return into the Nine Tails. And if he hits me for 110, then we Ice Path him. So, fine. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. We got the Shaman off the board. It's an easy prize for Sylveon, too, so that's fine. If he plays hammers, we'll be in trouble. But if he wants to just, he could plea me too, I guess. If he please, I go end and then hope to get the force. Because all we gotta do is get force, and that plea is not as good. So that'll be fine. If we can triple decidueye him though, that Eevee's going down, which will be really nice. There's a field blower. We're gonna lose our float. Kind of sucks. We still have one left, and we still have hollow hunt, so we still have access. Is he gonna do plea, or is he gonna do? Um, Fairy Wind, he's probably going to go Plea here, and he's probably just going to put back Dartrix and Decidueye. Yep, there it is. There is the Plea GX, and he's putting back the Dartrix and Decidueye, right? Yep. Okay. Force of Giant Plants. Ah, oh, could you imagine? Okay, we're going to lose a turn at Decidueye. Actually, no, we're not. What am I saying? Um, we'll go here... Shaman for two. Alright. Give me four giant planes so I can, uh, you know, knock out that thing on the bench. Okay. Hey. That plea GX just went down the drain. Just went down the drain. We have so much we can do with this hand. We're going to lose that DCE, though, but I'm fine with that. Like, why didn't I fold that one? Man, these misplays. And he concedes. He's like, no, I'm not going to be able to beat this. I'm not going to be able to win. We'll find one more game because I do want to get this 50 coins so I can actually buy a pack of Garnies Rising and open it for you guys and before I pull a Minor or an Oreo Cori I don't know Ori Corio whatever they're called hmm is this another Sylveon deck holy cow what's with a Sylveon today it could be Volcanion but he, is, he plays fairy and he's even got the fairy fairy sleeves in the deck box so I guess it is Sylveon again Again with the Sylveon. We still have Feather Arrow, which is good enough. Unless he plays Hex. I don't know many... I mean, Sylveon might play Hex. We'll see if he does or not. Yeah, Sylveon. Boo! Get that crap out of here! Get Sylveon out of here! Everyone boo this guy. Write boo in the comments for this for this, for this this jerk. I'm kidding. He's not a jerk, but he is because he's playing Sylveon. The scumbaggiest deck of all time. Sylveon is like five times worse than Quad Lapras. Like, whose man's got away with a Sylveon? But at least with this matchup, I can try out the Espeon tech. So, I'm kind of salty, but I'm not salty at the same time. And we can draw some cards, which is good. Okay, nothing good at all. Now, there's a Sika. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Uh, so, one Vulpix is prized. We do have the Espeon in the deck, which is all we need to know. And one DCE is prized. So, that's interesting. But it's fine. He has Skullgrunt, which controls the energy, which is the only thing I'm kind of worried about. Ooh, look at that. If we can just stack mobile to Sidious, we can just maybe win with Feather Arrow, unless he doesn't play Max Potion. We gotta hope. <laughs> we gotta hope for the best. Uh, we'll Float Stone the Shaman. Oh no, we can actually do a Sky Return lock. Maybe we can. Let's find out. Here we go, Professor Sycamore. Will we find the Decidui? We do. Okay, good. We got two going, which is awesome. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of these two. Uh, I'm probably going to have to end them out of a Magical Ribbon. And I think I'm going to get the Shaman down. And maybe we can... He might feel blower me, but whatever. I don't even care. Uh, we'll go Shaman here and try and hit maybe another Decidueye. Nah, we whiffed. Alright, that's fine. We, got, we, got, we almost got it. If we got two Decidueyes, we actually could have just knocked out that Eevee, which would have been really cool. I guess we just snipe the active here. And pass. Maybe we can still get two Decidueyes. He could do Plea, though. Plea again, which could be scary, just like in the last game. My opponent says, well played. He's like, fam, I'm done. Big Masalda. That doesn't matter. We can still get a bunch of Decidueyes. Skullgrunt. No! Our Grass Energy. Ugh. And he goes Sylveon. Oh, my God. I hate Sylveon with a passion, dude. This deck is so stupid. Alright. Uh, I really want to find a DCE here, so we can just plop him with Sky Return. 
magical ribbon and Diana. That's how the game goes. He, we did lose our grasses, though. God, I whoever made whoever made this deck, I swear, you suck at this game. No, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding, actually. Sylveon is just... I, I don't want to roast it, but, dude, I, I could literally turn roasting bad trades into roasting Sylveon because Sylveon is just... It's that deck that it's Sylveon is like the deck that the, the kid at like the the kid that no one talks to in the cafeteria plays. You know what I mean? You know, it's like you're, you're chilling playing Pokemon with your friends. That one kid brings in the Sylveon deck, which no one likes to see. Yeah, that that's my best description of Sylveon. Hmm. The Rise of Metal is going to crush this thing. I swear. I, there's like no good metal types either, other than Silvaleo and Metagross. But yeah, Sylveon kind of just reigns supreme on the format, unfortunately. Alright, can we get a Decidueye or DC top deck? We don't. Not my standard doesn't matter. We need to go in and get rid of that handy had. Let's see, what do we find? Rip that. We didn't even get a Decidueye. Oh my gosh. Alright, we'll go mail. And okay, we got it. We got it. We're gonna get rid of. Oh, he doesn't play any tools. Yeah, we'll get rid of Field Blower. He probably doesn't play any tools, anyways. We didn't get the energy, though. But at the very least, he can't do another Skull Grunt. Maybe he will. Who knows? I mean, I'm not going to play Rowlet down quite yet. I want to bait him. Mm. Snipe the Eevee for 20. And then we'll... Spread out the damage. Because then we'll just double Feather Arrow that. Or triple, double, and then... then yeah. We'll hold on to this hand for a sec. He might delinquent me, though. We're in delinquent range. Maybe I should just put the Rowlet down. But then we can't... Use Tapu Lele. So, I'm praying he doesn't delinquent me. Delinquent would be horrible. That would screw me over completely. So, he is going to go Sylveon. But this kind of makes him not be able to attach and go Plea or anything like that, you know? So, that's kind of a nice nice little trade-off. At least we have another end, too. If we can keep up the ends out of these magical ribbons, maybe we can have a chance to pull off the Espeon play, which I really want to do. Seriously, though, why couldn't they just make Magical Ribbon grab one or two cards? Like, three? Like, whose mans did this? Seriously, who's who's the man who did that? It's kind of funny, though, too. Like, Fairy Wind does this for the same amount of energy, does less dam does more damage than Razor Leaf, but Decidueye has more HP. That's kind of Pokemon's way, I guess, balancing things, but that's still not bad. It should have only done, like, 40 Kappa Ross. Ooh, Tapu Lele, I like you. But we're still going to go in. Alright, here we go. What do we find? Still no Decidueye. Are you kidding me? Hmm, what do we do with this hand? I think we just... Sky Return? The one thing I am kind of worried about is my opponent does play a Skull Grunt. Because then we'd actually lose our DC. But at least we got another end to go with this. So it's all nice. And we'll just smack him for 60. And then we actually knock him out next turn, which is awesome. We bring out Decidueye. He could Skull Grunt the DC out, but it's only one energy if... Like, we had another DC and he skull branched it, that would be a little bit more rip. But if it's only the one energy, I'm fine. My dog's barking, I'm trying to talk over if you can't tell already. He could go for Flareon, too. If he does that, I think we just try and whack an Eevee as soon as possible. Is he going to play me? We have a forest in our hand. I mean, he could do Fairy Wind, too. It's not going to two-shot me, though, which is the good thing about that. Unless he drops a Choice Band. Oh, he's retreating. Okay. If he doesn't get rid of an energy this turn, handiwork, ooh, double tails. Thank you, Team Rocket's handiwork. Yeah, we kind of got a Lysander that thing, I think, and just knock it out. Hmm. I really want to go into a Decidueye here. So I can smack that thing. We draw into Decidueye, I think I'm just going to pile up a bunch of damage on Eevee, Lysander, knock that out. That seems fine. Okay. Hmm. DCE. The only problem is, is if he gets rid of the grass, I actually have no way to do Hollow Hunt. Kind of got to do it, though. We didn't even get the Decidueye, either. The burn is real. The burn is real. I'm just gonna do that, I think. Could end him. But then we can't knock that out. Oh, do we enter or just knock out the, this, this thing? 
I could have feather arrowed that then I guess. He might just he plays max potion though. I mean it's a free prize. We might as well just start taking the prizes now. And if we lose this grass, which is probably gonna happen, Decidui cannot attack, and we're gonna have to rely on attacking with Shaman, so that'll be how that goes. There's a Vulpix, so then we can do the Nine Tails route, which would also be good. But if at least we can get a few Decidueyes going, we can just Feather Arrow the Sylveon to death. No, Flareon. That still doesn't actually let him two sh one shot me though. Yeah, that does. And he definitely grabbed a DC too. Oh my god. Alright, thank god for Revitalizer though. My boy Revitalizer coming in clutch. So now we literally can't get that grass back. That we're out of energy grass energy. The situation cannot attack anymore. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad and bougie, but it's fine. We gotta try and hit the uh, thing soon. Hey, look at that, there's nine tails. Revitalizer will get back this and that. Yeah, sure. We'll just level ball for another Dark Tricks. So it's all good in the hood. Do we need special charge? Have we lost two DCs? No, just one. Okay. We'll go level for Dark Tricks. Uh, now, one thing I'm kind of worried about is like handiwork, puzzle of time, spam. But we'll just have to hope I'm, I get lucky then. End of the floor, too. Could have dropped Shaman, I guess. Should have done that. Okay, there's our DCE. If he Scald runs us. Oh my god, that would be disastrous. A skull grunt would end so badly. I hope he does not skull grunt me now. I'm actually kind of worried about that. We're just kind of just still whiffing our decidui. Like, we can't get three decidui in life for some reason. Uh, bring up Dark Tricks. Yeah, it's the only thing he uh, can only take out for one prize. We could have brought out Gold Picks. We have Nine Tails, though. If he has a skull grunt, though, oh my god, it's just this. Skull run would be disastrous. We still have our special charge, but jeez, we would. Oh my god, I'm actually kind of scared of a skull run here. Maybe I should have brought out Vulpix in case of the skull run. <laughs> Please don't do it to me. Don't skull run. No, you piece of. Oh. Alright, uh, we can still draw more cards with Shaman, I guess. Sure, but. Son of a piece of garbage. God, I hate Sylveon. I hate Sylveon with a passion. This card gives me gives me nightmares and makes me want to like not play Pokemon anymore, Kappa. I'm trying to hold back as much salt as I can. Like if I wasn't recording, I'd probably have conceded and punched a hole in my wall by now. Please don't be double puzzle. I mean he's not really getting anything back anyways, to be honest. Like I could get back the EV and the fairy energy. Okay, thank god. Thank god. I guess we can end him to three too, slow him down even more. We still have one... No, our other DC's prize, isn't it? Oh my god. If we can at least draw into a special charge, I'll be happy. Yeah, I should have brought out Vulpix. I wasn't expecting the Skull Grunt, though. For God's sakes, dude. <sighs> Sylveon is so stupid. Alright, come on. Top Deck Gods. Rowlet. That can get us the knockout. That's not bad. Put it there. put it there hmm all right if we can get special charge in like a an n or something that'd be really clutch hey okay we still can't get dark tricks over some reason we're not gonna be able to double decidui but we still can get back our two dces which is really nice and we can via seeker for n Alright, let's see. Espeon. Ooh, that is super clutch. And before Delinquent. And I guess we Feather Arrow and... Feather Arrow... That? In case he Max Potions? I don't know if he plays Max Potions. That's fine. Dude, rip the triple Decidui, though. Seriously. I mean, we were knocking him out, but... Seriously, that would have been so nice. Parallel, okay, and that's fine. We'll get rid of Shaman. Get rid of Rowlet, sure. Maybe I could have kept the Shaman. We still have a Rescue Stretcher though, right? Nah, should have checked. Dang, this is this is a really close game. Holy cow! This is a really close game. Oh, he's gonna knock me out. Why did I bring out Decidueye? 
Man, I'm making some really dumb misplays. But if we hit energy, we win the game with Espeon because we clear out his board. And that end of three maybe didn't give him anything. Sometimes these Sylveon decks play so many cards that aren't really drawing cards, you know? I don't even think Sylveon plays any um, Sycamores. And, okay, it's only four. If he gets another Pokemon down, this is going to be bad. Hoping he doesn't. Please don't get another Pokemon down. Puzzle. Is it double puzzle? I think it is. I can't tell because this game doesn't show you for some dumb reason. Okay, thank god it's not double puzzle. If it was, he could have just grabbed Eevee. And I think at that point, we might have just lost the game. Plea. He's going plea. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Hmm. That's fine. Dang, this is such an intense game though, holy cow. How does I bash on how annoying Decidueye is? This is genuinely like a really, really close match. We gotta hit one of our two DCs. I think we can do it. Yeah, we can. We, we win the game. We win the game. We're good. Because we can just grab a Pokemon out of our deck here, and then those seven cards will be our... Because we sick more for seven, and then we draw into the, uh, the thing. We just need to hit... We just need an energy to win the game with Espeon. And I think we have it, because we just sick more and then win the game, deck ourselves out. And before, for some reason, I'm doing the math wrong, but we should win the game here off of the Sika. I could have done another Decidueye, but I just knocked it out anyway, so there you go. Alright, this game was really, really close. Holy cow. This was a really intense match. Yeah, screw you for playing Sylveon. I'm just kidding. Not screw you. But, peace out, Sylveon. Thanks for being an annoying deck, but we beat it with a pretty unlikely deck, to be honest. Like, this is a deck that is scarce on energy, and Sylveon eats our energy up, and we still managed to pull off a pretty clutch victory. So that is a pretty good win in my books, and we got enough coins to finally buy a pack of Guardians Rising. But, jeez, that game, that was an intense game. This video's probably gonna be an over an hour long, which is fine, you know? I haven't done a video that long in forever. So, it's all gravy, baby. But yeah, jeez, that game was intense. I hate Sylveon, but that was awesome. Alright, here we go. Let us buy a Garden's Rising pack. Just for that win. And I, I did make a few misplays that game too, but just for that win. Give me a Full Art Tapu Lele or Full Art Tapu Coco. Or a Secret Rare Max Potion, Rare Candy, or DCE, or Fuel Blow, or Aqua Patch. Give me the reward of the lifetime, folks. And our Rare is Toxapex. Sure, I'll take it. So, it's a GX at least, right? Uh, we got Beware. I was like, oh my god, we got Tepa Lily, but it's not. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for PC your content. I think we showed off this deck very, very well. Um, probably the best deck showcase I've done in a long time, if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun deck. I do think it's got a lot of potential going down the road. I don't know what tweaks you could make to it, but I personally think this deck is a lot of fun. I probably will play this a lot more now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to more content. Help me on the road to 2,000 subs. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, and see you later. Bye-bye.